Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and everybody stand up because he is back. Vince Morales is back in the UFC after a pretty decent winning streak. Five wins in a row, 33 years old, which it worries me a little bit. 34 in November, 16 and 7. He has, what is that, 12 finishes? Yeah, 12 finishes in his career. Uh, seven by TKL, five by submission. He has five first round finishes. Yeah, five first round finishes. Has been finished once by Chris Gutierrez with leg kicks and then submitted twice. He's three and five in the UFC. Again, his TKO loss was against Chris Gutierrez, leg kicks, I believe. I'm correct on that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Chris Gutierrez lost to Benito Lopez, Jonathan Martinez, and Miles Johns. Pretty, pretty good. Um, matchups there and then he he's been on an absolute roll now he hasn't fought the greatest of competition as we see 11 to 5 34 and 11 is decent obviously 11 and 4 11 and 3 against another guy who's released from the UFC Hunter Azur Peruvian necktie back in August 30th so just over a month later he's fighting Taylor Lapolis which the problem I have with him fighting on this card and against this guy let me see if he's on this freaking, uh, don't see him. So he's, he was a late ad, obviously, as we know. But Taylor Lapolis, 5'6", with a 73-inch reach. So he's going to be shorter than Vince Morales. 5'7", uh, with a 70-inch reach. So 4-inch reach advantage for, oh, uh, no. 1-inch in height for Vince Morales. 3-inch reach advantage for Lapolis. Um, Taylor Lapolis, 20 wins, 4 losses. That one loss is against Ferrer Bacharet. 4-1 four in, four in one his last 5 fights. All right, let's go back over here. Yeah, 4-1 his last 5 fights. Minus 350 favorite. 32 years old, 5-6. He's at 73-inch reach. Fighting Vince Morales, Vendetta. 16-7, and 5-5 five, five win streak. Plus 275 underdog. 33 years old, 5-7 with a 70-inch reach. Fighting out of Syndicate, an MMA factory for Taylor Lapolis. This is a classic striker versus striker with a little bit of better grappling from Taylor Lapolis. He can grapple. But I just think that reach is going to consistently give Morales some problems. I do think Morales has more power. I think it's very, very prevalent. You look at Vince Morales. Like I said, 12 finishes. He's won his last five fights. Or four out of his last five fights. By finish. I mean, that's, that's what it is. By finish couple of submission wins there as well, which is okay. The problem with Vince Morales' style is he consistently just walks forward. And with a guy like Lapless, you can't do that because he's a very, very good striker. Now, there are moments because Lapless is a, he's like almost like a technician. He doesn't throw a ton. He throws definitely like more than like Leon does. Um, but he likes to pick his shots. If you force him um to to strike or to back up and you'll have a lot of pressure he's going to strike but there's going to be moments where he's not so that's kind of where vince morales can do a lot of good is these in-between actions so i'm actually going with a big underdog here minus 275 moderate underdog which is pretty big underdog three to one favorite for taylor lapolis i'm going vince morales i think he finds that shot i think he finishes taylor lapolis I'm not going to be surprised if Lapolis wins because of his length, because of how good his, his uh, striking is, and Morales is going to consistently walk forward. But I think at some point, he's not going to be able to find the shot on Morales. I think Morales will find the shot on him. And as always, guys, I know it's crazy to say, I just think the momentum is all on Morales' side right now. Vince Morales for the win. And as always, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.